So if I want to update, I will have to go to P6. Uh, I will need to update my P6 to match that, that desired cutoff date. But I have already done that in here. So I can go to projects. Uh, I go to March, open this project. I just made an uh, extra copy. And I have moved the data date of this schedule, the end of March. Okay. And things have moved, right? Now I have earn value units. I have actual label units because I've been inputting that manually. And I have different dates. So now that current uh, finish date is, is got a big delay in there. So what I need to do is I just need to export this one as, as we already uh, told you. So XML next, uh, I want to go with the baseline, needs to go with the baseline, otherwise it will break. Why it will break? Because the current Power BI file has already got the baseline in the, in the previous export in December. So if now we don't export the baseline, it's gonna be kind of a missing, it's gonna be uh, data is gonna miss um so that's going to generate a break so you need to make sure you export that a uh, new file with the baseline as well okay so please make that okay and go and export that to my folder i don't want to export the layouts because i don't want a zip file i want only the xml file that's it so i uncheck this one and finish and that will make the trick i already uh, the, uh, exported that is on my on my computer so what I'm gonna do now is with that new file, I want to update this. Now, before I was having a Delta positive 27 days, so I was ending this earlier. Um, now I'm gonna see what's gonna happen, okay? So I want to click refresh, right? And now the beauty of this is because all the calculations, all the data preparation is behind the scenes. I don't need to do anything. I just spent my two hours and a half building this up and now every time I bring new data, it's just going to show, right? It's just going to show. And I'm pretty confident, 99% confident, I'm not going to have any issues because this is a, a standard format. It's an XML. I'm not doing copy paste. I'm not doing a, exporting a spreadsheet from P6 that I could have missed one column that was before connected. So this is standard format, and that's, that's what why it gives me confidence to go. So everything is formulated here so that the refresh just finished and you see that now uh, what was green became red in here. Uh, reason is because this is kind of formulated. So the cards are really good to, to put formulas on them. So if I go to, this is just showing a Delta, this is a measure and it's a Delta between the baseline finish and the current finish units. And now, I click enter and now I'm going to get my correct and value units equally to my primavera P6, right? I wanted to do that just for you to kind of also understand a little bit of DAX, how you use related, uh, how sometimes you just need to, to test a little bit where, what is the field that you actually want to capture data. So earn value units, uh, 9,700 P6, 9,700, exactly the same, right? Even if I add the decimals, it will give me that 0.95, okay? So data never lies, guys. Data never lies when we use Power BI, okay? 